everyone, Sean Clement here, Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center on location in my backyard. I uh, just set myself up finally with my real field golf mat and my net return golf net, the best backyard setup anybody could ever hope for, as well as an indoor setup. So we're going to do that in the garage in the wintertime. So today, you know, it's Father's Day weekend. And I had a little bit of a day off today, and I'm going to do a little meditative meditation session with you, okay? Meditative? All right. <laughs> so we're going to be doing some seven irons. I'm going to do some, uh, some fades and some draws, and my goal is to cut the dandelion stem in the direction I want the ball to start. And I'm using full range of motion with the least amount of effort possible. So one out of 10 for effort, but maximizing range of motion. So range of motion should feel like 10 out of 10. So massive range of motion, super low effort, just at the stall point, okay? So I'm gonna get a little intermediate point here to help us out. I'm gonna use that ball there as my intermediate point, and I'm gonna do a fade by lining up to the left edge, ball center. So my goal is to start to the left of that intermediate point and fade it back behind the intermediate point. Huge range of motion, one out of 10 for effort. So that felt ridiculously easy, but it felt like a nice full range of motion, little draw. Line up straight over it, close the face, ball back in the stance, right edge. Huge range of motion. One out of ten for effort. So my brain is looking for the proper feel of that cut of the dandelion, which I did not get on that one. It was a hair thin. So eyes on the grass between club and ball, gather massively, let it release through. So now I'm just being aware of how my balance is maintaining itself. And you'll notice on that last swing, my balance was a little bit off. It fell back a little bit. So. There we go. Whoa, that felt so good. So now my brain says, hey, that's the feel I'm looking for. Perfect. Let's go back to the fade. Yes, that feels like a fade, ball forward. I got the dandelion stem in my mind. I'm gonna cut through the stem with mass and ease. Gather. So the, the cut on that one felt just a hair gougy. Notice how it kind of nudged that intermediate point with the mat. So my brain is telling me, hey, that what that didn't feel like a through word cut enough, just a little gougy. There we go, that's more through. So I'm just looking for the quality of the cut. Wide. Huge range of motion, very low effort. That was two out of ten for effort. I'm going to bring it down one more notch. Got the stem in my mind. I got the feel of what it's going to be like when I cut through that stem with mass and ease. Oh, there it is. That was sweet. So, the meditation aspect of it is I'm looking for feel sound, sight of the shot that I'm trying to create. So if I'm going back to the draw, what's it going to feel like when the club breezes through that stem with ease? What's the release going to feel like? What's it going to sound like? Whoa, that was money. But I felt a little strain. See, monitor that strain every time. Same again. Oh, there it is. 
That was ridiculously easy. So my brain now is recognizing what it sounds like, feels like, looks like. Obviously here I can imagine the ball flight. Got left edge, now I've got a fade. Beautiful. That was two out of ten, maybe three out of ten. Had just that smidge of, of, um, of, I wouldn't call it strain, but just a little more effort than a one, okay? So when you're performing that, and this is what's fun, you know, it's like you get the ball right back, you put it back down. So I'm going to do a little five iron here. I'm going to go a little bit longer and experience the length of shaft with that one. So back to the fade. Gather yeah, huge. It's got to feel easy, ridiculously easy. And that's what's fun is that you'll notice your, your velocity is not going to suffer when you've got that huge range of motion. Left edge, left edge. That was compressed. Draw. Right edge, right edge. Crushed. One more draw. Right edge, right edge. Crushed again. Okay, so now I'm getting into a nice rhythm here. Let's finish with a couple of little wedge shots. I'm going to go with a little gap wedge, a little fade. So I'm looking for that little power fade, left edge, a little four to center. So I'm looking for full range of motion without effort, without strain. Little draw. Got the stem. Beautiful. That was primo compression right there. One more. Gather, gather. Well, <laughs> that's one of the things you'll realize is that you, you have to keep monitoring your strain level because it creeps up, you know, going, yeah, that felt so good. And the very next swing, all of a sudden, it's not a two anymore, it's kind of like a three. And it's very easy for it to escalate if you don't pay attention to it. So that's why every swing I take, whether I'm on the golf course or whether I'm on the range, I've conditioned my mind to pay attention to the strain level that I'm using when I'm performing the task, but I love to feel that velocity and that compression and to hear the fizz of that ball flight. So I'm looking for to maximize that compression and that velocity, but never at the expense of strain. Hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next one. Fun, huh? <laughs>